Hi guys, this is me, your Sir Orly again, and welcome for another video lesson. Before we start, I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you for our 11th subscriber. Happy 11th subscribers, guys! So don't forget to share your our videos para daghan po mag-subscribe sa ato, okay? I would also like to say thank you to our partner for, for the comment. Okay, so kamo po, just comment down your suggestions below para ato ma-appeal sa sinod nga video, okay? And also, I would like to thank our principal, Sir Diaz, sa support, Ma'am Juliet, Ma'am Greengrang, o si Ma'am Jovi sa support. Thank you! Let's start! So, we will discuss signs... First quarter, module 2E, compounds, nature, and properties. So, sumpay rin siya sa module 2D, non-metals, our previous video. Okay, so get your notebooks, pens, science mojo, and your periodic table so we can start. So, at the end of this video, we will be able to describe the nature and properties of compounds, list down compounds, found at home and in the environment, familiarize and appreciate the common compounds that you are using every day. So before we proceed, don't forget to answer what I know on page 2 until page 3. So let's have lesson 1 on compounds, nature, and properties on page 4. Okay, so before we will proceed in our lesson, so I have a question for you. So are you familiar with kalburo? So kalburo gali? So kalburo is used to fasten up the ripen of the um, fruits like bananas, mangoes. So gamito na siya sa itong mga farmers uh, para mapaspas ang paghinog sa manga or sa saging. Yana. So, it is a, uh, the greenish yellow rock like solid substance that has a very foul odor. So, kung si nado di ba siya? Are you not wondering why it smells so bad? Nganong baho ka ayo gitong kalburo? Okay, that is because kalburo, which is sulfur, when exposed to air, it reacts with oxygen, which is around us, forming sulfur dioxide, which is a pungent and poisonous gas. So if you continue to inhale the gas produced by kalburo when exposed to air, you will eventually get dizzy because of exposure to the poisonous gas. There is an element sulfur being combined with another element, oxygen, which forms another substance called sulfur dioxide. Take note that originally there are two elements, sulfur and oxygen. Ukanasan sila ng mga elements, they are not actually harmful sa tuang lawas alone. But then, as they form into sulfur dioxide, they exhibit different properties from the previous one. So, nalahi na git sila after nila na transform. So, as we go along in this lesson, you will be able to understand why this scenario is happening. So, in our previous lesson, we have learned that matter can be classified into substances and a mixture. And then, substance, pure substances, can further be classified into elements and compounds. And elements are the building blocks of matter. So, for this activity, we will learn what are compounds. So, let's do activity number one, fill me, on page five. So, you will just identify the elements in the substance given in the table. So, for example, salt. We have Na and chlorine. So, you will use your periodic table here. So, the elements present are sodium and chlorine. So, how about letter B? Substance B, substance C, and substance D. Are you done? Okay, so do you know that the substances are examples of compounds? Yes, so kanang table sugar, salt, water, and carbon dioxide 
na inyong nailaila ganina are also compounds. So what then are compounds? So compounds are made up of two or more elements that are chemically combined producing new set of properties. So pareha tong example nato ganina, di ba? So ang sulfur and oxygen are not harmful individually sa ato ang lawas. So when they combine into sulfur dioxide, sulfur dioxide, it will harm or it will cause harm sa ato ang lawas. So it has this different sets of properties unlike sa iyahang sulfur or sa oxygen. So what are the properties of compounds? Number one, compounds cannot be separated into other substances by physical methods but by chemical means only. Compounds cannot be separated by physical means like infiltration, decantation, and so on. But it can only be, only be separated through chemical means like for example, electrolysis by which components of water, hydrogen, and oxygen will be separated. Okay, number two. Shorthand in writing compounds is chemical formulas while elements are chemical symbols. Okay, so for example, water, the chemical formula is H2O or hydrogen, two hydrogen, and one oxygen. So that is called chemical formula. So in elements, H is the chemical symbol, O is another chemical symbol. Okay, number three. Elements in compounds are always combined in fixed proportions. Okay, for example, so one water molecule is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen. So the proportion is two, one. Therefore, two hydrogen, one oxygen. Okay, table salt, sodium and chlorine, one is to one. Table sugar, that has 12 carbon, 22 hydrogen, and 11 oxygen is 12, 22 is to 11. So, fix tang iyahang proportion. So, lahi na sa nga compound if it has different proportion. Okay, number four. Generally, compounds have chemical names and common names. So, for example, NaCl the chemical name is sodium chloride and its common name is salt. So, both pa sa both, ang iyahang chemical name sa asin, asin nga itong gaisago sa itong pagluto is sodium chloride. So, goon mo sa inyo hang mama, wato mo sa tindahan, ayo, palit ko og sodium chloride. Okay, so H2O. H2O is dihydrogen oxide or common name is water. Okay, pag sagup sa datuk H2O, CH4 or carbon tetrahydride is also methane. Okay, here is an example how compounds are formed. So, sodium combined by chlorine is table salt or sodium chloride, which is a compound. So in this example, element sodium is chemi chemically combined with the element chlorine to form a compound, sodium chloride commonly known as salt. Okay, so number five, compounds are useful in our daily lives. So wala ni gihimo no, para wala lang, but it has also uses in our daily lives. Okay, like for example, water, its chemical formula is H2O. Therefore, duhak hydrogen atom in one paired with one oxygen atom. Its uses are drinking, washing, watering, cleaning. So, unsa pa? You can add other uses in the comment section below. Okay, now letter B, table salt. The chemical formula is sodium chloride. Its uses are seasoning. Okay, unsa pa kay other uses ani sa table salt? Okay, letter C, table sugar. The chemical formula, its uses or its use is sweetener and aqua oxinada or H2O2. So, this is used as cleaning 
wounds. Okay. So aside from substances mentioned above, other substances are present in the environment. To enhance your knowledge about compounds, another is another activity is given to you. So you will answer activity number two. Complete me on page nine. Okay, what will you do? What will you do? Just fill in the table below and write your answer in your paper. Okay, for example, water. The chemical formula for water is, is H2O. So the components present or the elements present are present are hydrogen, there are two hydrogen and one oxygen. The ratio is nanil nyo pagsulat. H is to O. So two is to one. Uses are drinking, washing, watering, cleaning. So, just complete the table. Pariasan na ninyo sa example above. Okay? So, you will also, you may also use your periodic table if you have. You can also search. You can also search the internet for more information para makomplete ninyo kining activity. Okay, so if you're done, Let's move on to what I have learned on page 10. So direction, just complete the statement and find your answer in the box. Okay, example number one. Blank are made of two or more kinds of elements. So the answer is yes, compounds. So you do the rest. You do two numbers two to six. Okay, so we're almost done. This time, answer page 12 assessment on your mojo. Write your answers on a piece of paper. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.